In this video, we're going to cover the skill of reviewing area and perimeter. A reminder that area is the amount of space occupied by a two-dimensional figure, so it's the quantity that measures the inside surface of a closed 2D shape. So to solve for the area of a rectangle, we use the formula length times width. And you'll typically see that shortened into using the letters L times W. For perimeter, the perimeter is of a shape is defined as the total distance around the shape. So of a 2D shape, it is going to be the outside lengths. And to solve for the um, perimeter of a rectangle, we use the formula length plus length plus width plus width. Or we can use the formula of length plus width and then multiply that by 2. Taking a look at this first rectangle, we're going to solve for both the area and the perimeter. Reminder that the formula for area is length times width. So all I need to do is find the length of my rectangle and the width, multiply them together to get that area. The length of this rectangle is 9 with the width being 5, and when I multiply those numbers together, I get 45. Now what's special about area is that the units are squared. So to show that, since I'm just talking about units here instead of something specific like meters or centimeters or kilometers, I'm just going to write units, and then I'm going to square that by putting the exponent 2 to the right of units. I only do this when I am solving for area. For perimeter, we can use either one of the formulas. For this one, I'm going to do length plus length plus width plus width. And looking at our rectangle, we can fill in those empty sides. I know that the opposite width is going to also be 5 units, and then the opposite length is also going to be 9 units, just matching what it is across. And now I can plug in for, um, I can plug in numbers for all of these letters. So the length, the first length is 9, the second length is also 9, the width is 5, the other width is also 5. When adding up more than just two numbers at together, I like to just piece it together. So 18 plus 10 is now a lot easier to solve for me, and then I get 28. For the label for this one, we are not squaring it because it's talking about perimeter, so this one would just be 28 units. Taking a look at this more narrow rectangle, our formulas stay the same. So for area, I'm still going to use length times width and plug in my numbers that represent those parts of the rectangle, getting me to my final answer of 84, but again, I have to make sure that I have a label, so I'm going to put my 84 units, and because I'm talking about area, I'm going to square this. For perimeter, let's try out the other formula. For this one, we just have to do length plus width, and then just multiply that by 2, because there's two lengths and there's two widths. So I'm going to plug in my 7 for my length my 12 for my width. I've got to add those together first because they're in parentheses. And then I can just times that by 2 or double it off to the side. And I get my perimeter of 38. And again, because we're talking about perimeter this time, I do not have to square my final answer. 